Now, the other thing is, I'm just just curious. What do you think the average guy makes in the United States? Like a uh, uh, household income for one person, single male. What do you think? Average, uh, maybe like probably like 80k. Wow. Uh, what do you think? 400,000. Well, average man oh, does not make 400,000. Uh, yeah, we're talking about annual, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Average man make two hundred thousand. What do you think? I don't know. Girl, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Realistically, with everything that just went on in the world, I don't know. Maybe like seventy thousand. I know that sounds crazy, but average male seventy thousand. Average male. Um. Okay. Before tax. Wow. This whole time I was thinking like sixty. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's thirty-seven thousand dollars a year. Oh, oh, wow. oh, interesting. So 1% of men are over 6'3". The average, uh, me the medium take-home pay is 37000 For a household, it's 69000 For a household. Yeah. Yes, okay. again, you guys are used to being, hey, I went to the club, the guy spent 15K bottle men, and he makes a $4 million a year. Isn't that how most men are? No. The, the guy, like, it, seriously, if we were to go to Walmart and you were to see, like, the Filipino cashier who's five foot, five foot two, you don't even notice him. When it comes to dating, you don't literally don't even fucking see him. And that's the thing. That's one of the things we're trying to bring up is that like the world is not what you think it is. Mm -hmm. Just when, when you're here, like when women complain that men cheat, the number of men that cheat is extremely low. Most men don't have the ability to cheat. Most men don't have any chance whatsoever to cheat. Do you guys understand? It's just men in Vegas. Mm -hmm. No, it's just men in Vegas. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. No, but a lot of men in Vegas will come here because they have an advantage. Like, the, again, the guy, the guy who works security at the nightclub takes fucking roids. He, you know, and he works like three or four different jobs, and he's been with hundreds of women. The, the average North American male, how many sexual partners do you think he's had in his life? 400,000. The average income, 400,000. What the? This video just shows that these women have got no idea. I can't believe someone said the average income for a man is 400,000. I'm glad this guy was there to give him that reality check because these women are living in the clouds, man. How much do you want your husband, future husband, to spend on a ring on you, engagement ring? Oh, uh, easily 75. Hell no! 75, why is that? That's what I deserve. That's what you deserve? Now what do you even do for a living? I'm majoring in accounting. I can make that easy. You have a job then, right? What do you do? Like, doctor? You're a doctor? Yeah. Are you studying to be a doctor? Going to med school. I applied to med school. He has it. Now, how, I know he can. Now, how does it feel that your woman wants 70, 75k for a ring? She believes in me. <laughs> you a man that switches shoes with you, so your feet won't hurt. What's our names? My name's Mitch. I'm Rachel. How long y'all been together? Eight years. Like eight years. Eight years. Married, married, almost be married in September one year. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all trust each other 100%? No. No. <laughs> Why not? No one trusts each other 100%. Why is that, The only though? thing I trust for 100% is God. Can God. we test that theory? I trust her implicitly. Can test, we test Test that theory. We got swap phones. Swap I don't phones. have my phone. I don't carry my phone anywhere. Why not? Because there's no purpose carrying my phone. A little lucky day for you then. What do you mainly be on? I don't know. I mean, I use, Instagram. I use Instagram. This stupid yeah. game. Uh, let's check the Instagram DM. Check that Instagram. Check that yeah, Instagram. It. Check that Instagram. Right, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> they start shooting your Instagram and start stealing your shit, man. You know? Why you delete that one? I didn't. Shit, uh, <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what else? That's Mitch. <laughs> Baby, look at this one. Sibling. Big man thing, yeah? It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Eight years. Mad. And they don't trust each other? Well, they both be cheating. I already know that. And she's there even deleting a DM in front of him. I will never understand why guys just just stay with girls we do in this even before the video played i looked at these two and thought this relationship is down the toilet yeah this is she this is alec with instagram how are you today i'm good i don't know why i'm being called regarding this spoke with james earlier today me and james have been in contact he just couldn't break the news to you so he wanted me to give you a call instagram actually came out with some new policies this year for 2023 one of the things that we're taking a look at 
is taking away verifications, the blue check mark, for accounts that we feel are not meeting our expectations. Fortunately, you ended up on the list. So we have a lot of up and coming Instagram models and we feel that your pictures are just not meeting the expectations to have a blue check mark anymore. What the anymore. fuck? No, you guys are not taking it away from me. What the fuck? Who is this? What is their name? Not meeting expectations? I was so fucking hard for my account. I'm way better than all the other girls. <laughs> I swear, you're, you're, you're... <laughs> Woo! Some of these Instagram birds are just a joke. She's literally crying over a blue check. And if a company calls you about that, I mean, she didn't react and deal with the situation the best way. How much did you guys spend on your Halloween costumes? I had like six costumes. 500? She bought like a $700 costume. Probably about like 1,900. I'm not even joking. I bought a Maria Antoinette costume off of Trashy.com. $800. What the hell? Okay. Where did you wear that to? Some stupid college yeah, bar. <laughs> stupid college bar, but it's, okay. but it's okay. We have a problem. They really spent that much to just go out and look like a bizzle. What did they get when they took that costume to the counter? They got the no brain cells bundle. You hungry? You fucking bitch. The little guy is less scared than you. You don't raise your fucking paw to me, boy. You just about the rim. See, my dishwasher is easy to turn on and it cleans. Unlike my wife. That's not true, I clean. Have any celebs ever slid in the DM? Yeah, I would say mostly athletes. I haven't had like, I've had some comedians and some athletes, but that's about it. I haven't had like any like A-list celebrity like slide in my DMs yet. Which play. NFL team has the best out of your experience? Out of my experience, New England Patriots. Oh. That's probably the best NFL I've gotten. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've had the Patriots, I've had the Browns, I've had the Lions, I've had the Bears. I think that's it. That's it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that's a roster for sure. Definitely. Stop the cap. I can smell some porky pies here. I don't believe a word she's saying. She looks like one of them chicks that rocks up at 4pm at the job centre. And she's talking about these athletes and people sliding in her DMs. I tell you what, if you slide in her, you'll definitely catch shine. 